Um, I too am very optimistic and hopeful and positive that hostages will come home and that a threat from Iran, Iran might be a little more nervous and quaking in its boots, that an economy might turn around and that war, Israel's wars might end and that peace with Saudi Arabia may result. And there's a whole list of things one could be incredibly optimistic and hopeful and grateful for this morning. But I want to remind and caution everybody. And a lesson that we should have learned over the last four and eight years, if not over all of history, is Hamamlich Melachim Velo Hamalucha. Hashem coronates kings, but he is the only royalty. He has all the kingship. Lev Melachim Biyad Hashem. I think that the great people of our history and the great people of our present regulate their emotions. When something doesn't go their way, they don't get too depressed or despondent and too fatalistic that this means it's the end and it's a disaster and it's going to destroy because they realize, ah, you know what, Hashem's in charge. And conversely, when something does go their way, they don't announce this is it and it's Mashiach and everything's amazing and now I understand why. And this per To be a person of faith, to be a Yid, to be a person of Amunah and Bitachon is to have a calm and a tranquility and the serenity that Amunah provides that. I did my Heshtablis, I voted, I campaigned, I argued, I persuaded, I did what I could do, because that's my job. But now, even when it went my way, I'm cautiously optimistic. You know, I don't know whether it was a joke or it was serious. There was a group, one of them in Yanam, should they say hallel? This, hallel. You say hallel after a miracle. We have no idea what's about to happen. We think we know. We're hopeful or optimistic with what will be. We believe it will be better than what might have been or the alternative. And when I say we, I don't mean everybody. I'm, I'm not speaking for everybody. Many, many think. But if there's one word to describe where we're going, it's unpredictable. And so anyone who could enter a zone of unpredictability with complete confidence has no faith in who's really in charge. One thing we've known. So I, I, I just feel such an incredible fear, worry, that particularly the from community, who it's almost a moment that's a test for us. Be grateful, express gratitude if you feel it, not everybody does. If or those who feel it, be grateful to Hashem. Say mizmor soda in your tefillah, say thank you Hashem. Keep it going as far as we see and I hope this tracks in the direction that I'm, I'm hoping for and that we need. Be grateful, don't, don't be express gratitude, but be only cautiously optimistic. Don't have complete confidence, don't put faith in people. We say it every day in our davening. Don't trust, don't put your faith in elected officials, in princes, in royalty. Don't put your faith. Of course, we develop relationships, we lobby, we hope, we support, we guide, we encourage. Of course, that's the way of the world. That's the world that Hashem put us in, 1,000%. I last night was texting... I'm grateful to be able to text our congressman. I'm so glad that he won. He's outstanding. Jared Moskowitz has been phenomenal in Israel. We may agree, disagree on everything else, but on Israel, he's been fantastic. And our senator is amazing. And anyone with whom I have the, the privilege, uh, Richard Torres, I, I expressed enormous gratitude and, and hope and faith and encouragement to them. But if Frum Yid says, that's how I live down here, that's my responsibility down here, but only a piece of me is down here, my Shorosh and Hashem is up there. Where I really live is up there. Hamamlich malachim velo hamalucha. Hashem decides the outcomes of elections, but He is the King. He is the King. He is the King Maker, and He is the King. And don't ever, ever, ever forget it. Don't get confused about it. Al tiftechu benedivin. We have to operate down here. That's the world He put us in. We live in. We work. We operate. We're grateful. We're hopeful. Fantastic. But. We're talking mere mortals, unpredictable mere mortals, forces and variables. We have no idea what's going to happen in the world. And therefore, simultaneously, we continue to operate down here. But where we really focus is up there, where we really live. Malachim biyad Hashem. The next decisions that will be made, appointments that will be made, policies that will be made, they're coming from above. They're coming from above. And that's the place of our faith. And that's the place that we put our trust, that is what a, a Jew does. So a Jew regulates their emotions. I would have said this today, whatever the outcome of last night. If one a different direction, I would have said, relax, don't cry, don't tear Kriya, don't sit Shiva, whatever the outcome. 
And maybe for those, that's what they're doing today. Uh, again, I'm not assuming where a person fits or falls on this issue. I'm just speaking to what the polls show are the majority, at least of the Orthodox, of the Orthodox community. A Jew, a faith, a person of Amuna has regulated emotions. We don't become too depressed or despondent when we think it didn't go our way because we know he's in charge and because we don't know his plan. And we don't become too gleeful and overjoyed when we think it did go our way because we don't know his plan. <laughs> we're regulated. We express our gratitude. We're cautiously hopeful and optimistic. And we put all of our trust in him. Shine, I said enough. I hope I didn't get in any trouble.